on guys right away here and welcome back to the channel so today man we're back here on black ops cold war and we got a brand new update for the game i believe it was update 1.30 and within this update finally man we see wmd it was supposed to come out like last week alongside the uh, vargo mastercraft that came out yeah it was this mastercraft right here so when this mastercraft dropped wmd was supposed to come out we were all waiting for it to drop i know i was waiting for it basically Treyarch said that the map wasn't ready and they had to delay it for some odd reason but today man as you can see we have a wmd 24 7 playlist and let me tell you man i love this map if you guys want to see Treyarch updating black ops cold war more frequently drop a like right now whether we see you know new dlc weapons new bundles mastercrafts reactive camos or just brand new maps drop a like right now so uh Treyarch knows that we want black ops cold war to continue to update yeah make sure to subscribe if you guys are brand new we're gonna be checking out this brand new map and uh let's jump right into it Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen so we are here on wmd finally we have this map in black ops cold war it's been a minute since we've like known about this map and obviously last week or like a little bit ago it was supposed to come out but it didn't actually officially come out they had to delay the map for some reason which no one knows why they had to like delay this map at all but uh yeah we finally have it it was supposed to come out with like the new vargo mastercrafts uh that came out but it never did so Please don't get sniped. If you guys didn't know, WMD uh, was introduced with Black Ops 1. That was the Call of Duty that this map kind of came out with. And I'm feeling like extremely, extremely nostalgic. So I'm using the Carver, uh, which is kind of like the G11, if you guys didn't know. So please don't die. So I'm feeling a little bit of nostalgic, feeling those Black Ops 1 vibes right now. I think this map also came back in Black Ops 4, maybe. So we've seen WMD before. It's a great map, though. Uh, I didn't expect them to bring this map back into Black Ops Cold War, but honestly, it's a really, really good map, and I'm kind of glad that they did. When they bring back those unexpected maps that kind of make you think, like, wow, I actually did like this map from that game, it kind of makes it feel a lot better, you know what I mean? And honestly, dude, I'm so glad that Black Ops Cold War and, and Treyarch, they're updating this game, man. I feel like recently, a lot of people have been kind of taking notice that, like, Black Ops Cold War could be better than Vanguard. You know, Vanguard is the most recent Call of Duty game out right now, and... I feel like a lot of people are kind of noticing that and kind of going back to this game. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Do you guys think, uh, you know, Cold War and Treyarch should keep updating? Whoa! Oh, what was that? Yeah, let me know in the comment section. Do you guys think Treyarch should keep updating Black Ops Cold War? I know Vanguard isn't everyone's cup of tea, man. And, uh, you know, I feel like them updating this game could be really, really good, to be honest. There's also the map Jungle found in the files as well, so hopefully that comes out really, really soon for Cold War, but yeah, man, I just feel like them kind of updating this game would be really, really sick. I do like Cold War a lot, and uh, I didn't think it was that bad. I think a lot of people kind of, you know, discredited this game and uh, said it was bad. And obviously with Vanguard out now, I feel like a lot of people are appreciating Cold War a lot more. Please don't snipe me, please. This Carver is so good. Thank you. Thank you. But there are a few more DLC weapons that are going to be added to Cold War. Uh, we have the Scythe melee weapon that was found in the files, and you can also see it in the uh, the menu of Black Ops Cold War, which is kind of insane. We should be getting the Scythe melee weapon hopefully soon. Fingers crossed. You know, I obviously like red guns better, and I'd rather use a regular gun over a melee weapon, but the Scythe still looks really, really badass, so I'm excited for that. And then also found within the files of Cold War, we found a brand new submachine gun, so hopefully that comes out sometime soon as well. Maybe like the mid-season an update uh, that would be really really nice and i think there was a lot of like unreleased and like leaked f uh, bundles found within the files of this game too so hopefully those come out uh maybe some more mastercrafts that would be really sick i guess all down here yep i guess all down here thank you oh hello were you just in the corner bro what was that i'm gonna chill for like a second i'm dead oh my gosh guys they're right here thank you I die within a second. I think the whole other team left. Wait, what? A whole team left, guys. What in the world is that bullcrap? What in the world is that? Oh, this is a load of crap, bro. Thank you. I'm on a 14. I'm on a 15, but I'm not gonna drop the nuke because there's not any. There's not enough players. Is he up top? Thank you. He was up top. Thank you. I'm on a 17. I'm on a 19, bro. I'm on a 20. No. No. No, they're going to end the game. No, dude. I was... 
was on a nuke streak. I kind of feel like Black Ops Cold War is uh, pulling a Black Ops 3 right now. I feel like this might be the best thing for Black Ops Cold War because we're not getting a Treyarch game next year. There's going to be no Call of Duty game. 2023, Treyarch was supposed to make it, but then they came out with the news that uh, we're not having a brand new Call of Duty for 2023 and uh that's kind of insane that's the first time in 17 years that the franchise is not seeing a brand new premium title uh call of duty game so honestly i think it could be really cool that you know Treyarch is working on their next call of duty game for 2024 and in the meantime they come out with updates for black ops cold war they drop dlc weapons here and there you know whether that's throwback or new weapons like the vargo and they hopefully they come out with like really really cool throwback maps man i could totally see them doing that i feel like that could be a very very good idea but overall that would kind of keep you know content flowing from Treyarch's side of things. You know, Sledgehammer's not really doing a lot of good things right now with Vanguard. A lot of people don't really like Warzone right now either. So, um, yeah, hopefully... We do see some uh, Cold War content, you know, flowing in, man. I feel like Treyarch honestly kills it with, like, the bundles and, like, the Mastercrafts and the reactive camos. So, I really feel that if they can keep coming through with those, like, every, like, you know, two weeks or something, that could be really, really sick. That dude has a crossbow. Okay. We have a War Machine. Oh my gosh, bro. Well, we got the harp, so let's definitely throw that up. There we go. We're on a 17 right now. Hopefully we can nuke this lobby. Would love to drop a nuke. We got this dude right here. I see these dudes, but they're kind of just vibing right now. I like I can get to this window. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't want to get sniped because I feel like they're sniping right now, to be honest. This guy's pushing through. Got him. They're sniping. We're on a 22 right now. Is this guy going to come up? Oh, I knew it, bro. All right, well, we need a... We need, like, a UAV or something. Oh, my God. I should have been dead. This is so bad. Like, I genuinely... I need help. Wait. What? No! Get a crossbow! I think I was two off the nuke! What in the world?
Got the nuke, baby. Oh my god. What a crazy, crazy nuke. With the EM2 as well? I didn't expect to get it with the EM2. I didn't expect to get it with the EM2. I was just like, you know what? Let me try this weapon because I haven't used it in so long. Oh, there's the nuke, ladies and gentlemen. Drop a like, man. Subscribe. Get a few more tags to finish it up. We got this one. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, guys, that's WMD here in Black Ops Cold War. I really hope Treyarch continues to update Cold War. And I'm having a lot of fun going back to Cold War and making these videos. So if you guys want to see more Cold War videos, definitely drop a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.